Today, I think we, we heard uh, directly again from the Prime Minister. And this is the first time that he did make a, an emission, he did make an emission, a frank emission as to the gravity of the situation the country is facing. And that uh, it was important that he started off his uh, address today by acknowledging the serious situation the country is in now, so that he, uh, he would be in a position to really explain why the, all the draconian measures uh, are needed to confront uh, the scourge uh, brought about by the coronavirus. Yes, that's right. So now let's take a look at the detail of the order of the emergency situation in Thailand according to what Prime Minister has communicated with us. Today is the turning point that he has come to this announcement today that Thailand has reached a turning point in its fight against the coronavirus pandemic. That's part of he, his yeah, address to the nation. He, he, I think he, he chose the, the, the words very carefully using the, the phrase the Thailand reaching a turning point to emphasize the need why all the draconian measures are needed. And he said that the situation may worsen. This is something that he wants the Thai people to understand that the situation is not going to stop uh, where it is now, but might worsen many folds, not just worsen, but by many folds. Yes. And soon it will have the impact on the physical and mental health of every Thai. Yes. So it's, a, it's a, a very stark warning to the Thai people. Clearly, the tones, the gesture is obviously different from yesterday, Kun Thep Chai. That's right, yeah. It yes. was much uh, very straightforward today and tried to be uh, more comprehensive in this approach to conveying the, the, the grave message. That's right. And today, he made it very clear that uh, he is the one who is in charge now with the mm. That's very clear message mm -hmm. that he is on top of the single command in order to make order of this situation to fight against yeah. COVID-19. And he's also I said, he, yeah, I am I, I now he, fully in charge of every aspect of the mission. So he's on yes. top of all the orders. That's right. I think because he, he probably understood that he had come under a lot of criticisms over the past few weeks by not appearing to be in charge and largely because of the, all the confusing uh, statements from different cabinet members and uh, giving doubts to, 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 to whether or not the, the situation had someone very I mean, in charge. So today he made it clear that as Prime Minister and as head of the task force set up under the State of Emergency degree, he now leads the mission uh, in fighting against coronavirus. And he said he will report only to the people and the media, not only himself, not anybody else. That means that he will try to prevent any more confusion arising from uh, contradictory statements from different uh, people uh, uh, in authority. Yes, and towards the end, he tried to convey support to Thai public, to Thai people in general. And he also said the virus might have ravaged many parts of the world, but it cannot diminish our good hearts and the solidarity of the Thai people. Yeah. Do you this think is this is a, Prime Minister yeah. way of normal of communication? I think this is something that uh, people would have expected uh, from a leader. I mean, that uh, statements that would rally the people behind at the same cause. And as we are facing a very critical uh, challenge indeed, I think the, his words today probably were the most uh, sort of uh, uh, well, most welcome by the people that he emphasized the need for the people to get together and to act together to fight this scourge. And, and as Kunata said, uh, he chose his words quite well. He said the virus might have ravaged many parts of the world, but it cannot diminish our good hearts and the solidarity of the Thai people. <laughs> and then he ends his uh, address by saying that we will fight the pandemic together and together we will triumph. I mean, and uh, he ended very, very strong with his message, yeah. Yes, so it's the same message like what he mentioned before, that with this, we shall triumph together. That's right, yeah. 
But overall, the message, the announcement by Prime Minister, he didn't give clear detail outline of the emergency situation. But then later, just a few hours later, Dr. w i s n u k r u a n g a m Deputy Prime Minister, come out with more details regarding emergency situation. So let's take a look. What's the detail? I think Dr. Wisnu made it quite clear that uh, the directive that was issued today in the aftermath of the imposition of the state of emergency uh, was designed basically to prevent mass movements of people and to make sure that people comply with the stay-at-home directive. So all the 16 points of the directive issued today, which was later explained in details by uh, Mr. Wisnu. Was primarily aimed at that that objective. Yes, especially the three groups who will be discouraged from leaving home are people who are 70 or older, children who are under five, and people with illnesses, diabetes, pneumonia, or respiratory problems. That's, That's the right. three main groups. That are uh, encouraged to stay at home to work at home. But in fact, the the, the government certainly wants a, a minimum number of people out on the street. Uh, they should be out only when they have essential uh, assignments or businesses to tend to. But there are these three particular groups that are considered to be most vulnerable to contracting the virus. So, as k u n a t a mentioned, old people, young kids, and people with illnesses. So these are the two groups of people that will be closely monitored. Of course, they can still go out if they have essential things to I mean, to, to tend to, like seeing doctors or fishing uh, supplies and things like that. But this group of people, these three groups of people, will be closely monitored, and if they can stay home as much as they can, that's the better. So overall, this is not a national lockdown yet. It's still far from it, but we can say that it's it's partial lockdown, in which non-Thais are barring from entering Thailand, are barred from entering Thailand, and Thai citizens and Bangkok-based diplomats with fit-to-fly certificates are allowed to enter the country, and restriction imposed on inter-provincial travel. But it doesn't mean that people cannot travel to other provinces. That's right. Right. k u n m i s n o today was uh, quite reluctant to use the term lockdown. In fact, he was quite quite at a loss as to how to describe these uh, restrictions. He said, "Yeah, yeah, we are, we are not uh, adopting a lockdown measure yet because the airports are still open and Thai still can return." But basically, if foreigners cannot enter Thailand, that is. Practically, I mean, a lockdown in 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 the real sense anyway, and only Thais who have a certificate that we call that the fit to fly certificate, the health certificate, can enter the country. So that it makes it more even more difficult for anyone to enter Thailand. So basically, I mean, uh, what uh, the whole thing amounts to a, a lockdown in in but but in name, yeah, but not in name only. Yeah. Yes. And for yeah, and for people who still continue to travel between. Provinces, for example, the thousand of people who left Bangkok on buses over the weekend. So the, the one of the new measures introduced in the aftermath of the of the imposition of the decree is to discourage these people from doing so. So a lot of r e s t r i c t i o n will be imposed, making people, in his word, in k u n s n u b o s making these people think twice before they they want to leave their home to travel. Yes. So overall, it's enforcement of the directive of staying at home and to work from home. And he also mentioned the ban on gatherings. It means strict banning of all mass gatherings, and strict enforcement of closure of entertainment and sport venues. These uh, particular restrictions are nothing new, because in fact, as we we all remember, that the past one week has seen. Governors of Bangkok and other provinces impose a lot of restrictions on the opening of uh, entertainment places, sports venues, and shopping malls. 
in, in effect, these places uh, have been closed. But the difference is that the decree that was uh, into, uh, imposed, yesterday, imposed yesterday and will take effect after midnight tonight will give the legal enforcement to this restriction. In the past, one week, the authorities can only ask for cooperation for owners of entertainment places not to open uh, restaurants, not to serve food on site. But with the decree now in effect tonight, after midnight, then all these restrictions will be legally enforced. That means that violators of these uh, restrictions will be liable to jail term and fine. And you can end up be, uh, being sentenced to a, a maximum of two years in jail and fined at least uh, a, a maximum of 40,000 baht or both. Yes. And as the Prime Minister emphasized that uh, measures are important to prevent worsening situation of COVID-19 in Thailand. But especially Dr. Visanu didn't announce any curfew yet at this very juncture. But when reporter asked whether he would impose curfew, he said, in fact, the disease worked 24 hours. If he has to announce curfew, it has to be 24 hours. So that what, what he was, was suggesting was that uh, even though a curfew is not being imposed for the time being, but there is always a possibility of, of that being done if the situation doesn't improve. But uh, the curfew that to be imposed under the present circumstances would be different from the curfew that we saw in the past. Because in the past, the curfew hours were mostly restricted. Night time, right? They say between yes. 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next morning. But this time, as Kunata said, that uh, the coronavirus doesn't choose time to strike. <laughs> it may strike at, at 5 o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock in the afternoon, in the, in the late in the morning or 5 p.m. in the evening. So if a curfew is to be imposed, then the government has to think very hard as to the time, the, the time slot that the, the curfew would cover. It can be just between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. as in the past. Yes, yeah, so it means that the uh, government uh, security department will have to be prepared personnel in order to check up the movement, the moving around of people, especially around the country.